Hey guys, Kenny here and back into the video today. So today we're just going to be pushing with Ice Bow 3.6 and these are just a, like a collection of games that I've played over vacation because I couldn't really sit down and just play like one one single time. So these are just like a collection of games. But I'm just going to be playing Ice Bow 3.6 with the Valkyrie instead of the Knight. Um, I kind of used the Knight to push up a bit. Just because I couldn't really push up with the Valkyrie for some reason. And like Valkyrie's a lot better higher up. Especially since the Royal Hog um, Archer Queen deck and the Royal Hog Recruits deck is pretty popular. Um, if you guys haven't already, make sure you guys like and subscribe. And yeah, don't don't forget to also join my Discord server. Like it's just kind of been there. And I'd really appreciate it if more of you guys came came over there. And yeah, let's get started. Okay, so we're up against Nova 1 David. I'm gonna Valkyrie in the back. He either has Pekka Bridge Spam or some kind of Mega Knight. Oh, okay. Okay, so this can't be Pekka Bridge Spam. I probably should have used my ability right there. I just kind of panicked, so I didn't really get to use it there. So notice how I'm not really playing anything else yet, especially since... I'm not at 10 elixir. So I want you guys to pay really close attention to how I use my elixir. Because this will definitely help you a ton. I'm gonna play my Ooh, I don't know how that ghost literally turned like that. I know you guys saw that. Okay, um. Okay, so it's going pretty good so far. I'm not sure if he has Inferno Dragon or Archer Queen, so that's why I don't want to play my Expo just yet. I want to kind of defend first. Because if he gets a good counter push, I, I like lose instantly, especially since he has the Mega Knight. Let's go Expo now. Just because I don't feel like his cycle is good. And he doesn't seem to have like a high DPS unit like the Archer Queen or the Inferno Dragon. Okay, pretty good defense by me. Also take note on how I didn't use like skeletons right there. I like waiting till like the last second to defend if that makes sense. Let's go test up high just to kind of set up. For an expo and let's actually go expo here he doesn't seem like he has a big spell and let's actually go tesla again here and this is this looks beautiful guys i think this should get a connection if i'm correct and perfect okay so really good zap by him but let's go with another expo Let's get our NATO ready. Really good bandit by him. I'm gonna log. And I'm gonna make sure I go Valkyrie. Um, let's see. I don't know what I wanted. Yeah, that miner was kinda. Okay. Let's go Expo again. He shouldn't have Mega Knight in cycle. Let's go log. I don't know if this will. Yeah, this shouldn't get a connection. Let's activate King. So I might actually need to rocket cycle soon, but I might still keep applying pressure with Expos. Just to kind of get him in a weird cycle. To where I can get like free rockets. Gonna Ice Wizard. Hopefully this breaks through. If not, that's okay. Okay, so we do score a lock. Thankfully, let's go log. I'm not going to defend that bandit. Okay, let's go expo again. Really good roll goes by him. He knew he didn't really have Mega Knight cycle, but bad poison. That's going to allow me to get a free rocket. And I don't really know how I feel about that bandit at the bridge. He tried to predict us right there with like a predictive zap, but it wasn't really great. And I'm probably going to reset with Tesla because 
that's like one of the best plays you can literally make in a matchup like this with Mega Knight. Just Tesla in the middle. I'm gonna go Expo again just to kind of keep up the pressure so he's not able to stack in one lane like he wants to. Let's go Ice Blizzard ability here. And let's try to NATO this away from my Expo. Uh, we kind of failed, but that's okay. Let's go Expo again. So I'm just keeping the pressure up, like I said before. And, okay, perfect connection. I think this connection might have won us the game. Not sure yet. Let's actually go Rocket. Even if he plays a Mega Knight, it won't be enough time to actually get damage on my tower. Let's NATO this back. So he, he probably has to spam me. Just like he's doing now. Let's try to defend and GG. So key takeaways, um, set up with Teslas and don't let them stack in one lane. Okay, so we're up against NS. So right off the bat, I'm kind of thinking log bait since I see the goblin the goblin gang and the princess. So, so let's go test in the middle for his prince. It's kind of awkward, but I think it should do the trick. Really bad bats by him, and now that he showed me the bats, I don't really think it's prince bait anymore. Um, I'm not gonna do anything for the bandit just yet. I want to wait till the last second while I recoup elixir. And if I had played my skeletons a little bit earlier for the bandit, I wouldn't have enough for that dark prince. And now that I really think about it, I don't think this guy has like a real win condition since he's just spamming at the bridge. So this might be a really good matchup for us. I'm gonna have to NATO this and then go late skeletons. Really hope that's gonna go in my tower. Okay, so we didn't really have enough time to play those skeletons, unfortunately, but I think that's okay. I'm not really tripping about that bandit, especially since he shouldn't really have like a big spell. But I think we should be able to come back if we play this correctly, especially given our elixir advantage. I'm gonna go expo since we do have like a good support with the ice wizard and the valkyrie. And he should really only have Prince to stop this. I don't know what else he could really do for this. Okay, so ban it, but that's probably not enough to really stop a lot of damage. And now it's looking pretty good for us. I could in reality just like sit there and rocket cycle, but it's kind of boring guys. I'm gonna be honest, but yeah. Okay, let's go skeletons to kite. Hopefully Ice Wizard shoots. Perfect. Um Oh, I tried to NATO that king guys. This is <laughs> this is this is going really badly for us. But I'm still confident we can win this. Okay, um, let's go defensive expo. Perfect. Really bad princess on his end. So we kind of have to defensive expo now. As much as, as I didn't really want to, that's like the only way to win, guys. Especially since with all his spam, it's kind of hard to stop. I'm gonna Valkyrie in the middle up high. I have to try to cycle back to another defensive expo if I have the chance. But this guy obviously isn't letting up with his spam. He was really close on that prediction zap, but he didn't quite get it. Let's predict this princess here. Let's go. Um, probably just gonna go Ice Wizard and Log for this prince. I have to kind of cycle back to something that would take care of his Dark Prince. And really nice. 
Okay, let's go defensive expo here. Down low. So it'll be harder for him to kill it. And I'm probably going to try to cycle back to an offensive expo. So I can have like two expos on the board, basically. And I kind of want to finish this game quickly. I could just stack two expos on defense, but I don't really want to. Um... I'm gonna try to NATO this and log and perfect we got a connection I don't think it's enough to actually win the game though let's go ice wizard on these bats it's Tesla I'm gonna rock it again let's go Valkyrie right here oh shoot what's he Let's try to nato this my Valkyrie and perfect. Okay, that was kind of a rough game, but we managed to win. And yeah, GG. Okay, so I'm gonna start off with a log. Not really much to much else to do at the beginning there. And I'm gonna go Valkyrie in the back. Especially a safe play when they just go like zap cycle. Um Okay, let's go Tesla for his bats. This might be minor wall breakers or something. And really nice Valkyrie connection. Yeah, I was totally wrong. So that's Sparky. I'm not sure why he played his Sparky there. Especially since I played cards that look like Ice Bow cards. Um, I'm going to wait a bit before I go Valkyrie in the back. And then go Ice Wizard, since I don't really have a Tesla to counter push. And I don't want to use my skeletons in case I need them, so let's actually kite these this minion horde here. And guys, just watch this. I'm going to get a good counter push, and then go Expo right away, and this should win me the game. Especially considering he should be low on Elixir, since we got like a plus 4 trade with those skeletons. Really bad bats, and all he really has to stop this is like Spear Goblins. So let's actually get our log ready. Perfect, guys. And I don't think he has much else to stop this except for, like, a zap. Okay. But, yeah, I think we just won the game off that connection there. And all we really have to do is defend. I don't think he has a big spell because if he did, he probably would have played on my expo. So let's actually reset with, like, a Tesla in the middle. Again, one of the most safest plays you can ever do. With Expo, especially Ice Bow. I'm gonna rocket his Sparky. I don't want a defensive Expo just yet. Let's go Valkyrie in the back. I'm gonna log his Dark Prince in his tower. Obviously, good value and damage. I'm gonna Ice Wizard and then use the ability to clean up. And that's just perfect. On one hand, I, I like the Ice Wizard ability, especially since it's useful in cases like that. On another, I just feel like it's it, it should do more damage, in my opinion. But, I, I like it. Let's go Valkyrie again to defend an Ice Wizard. I'm going to predict his minor with a predicted NATO. Kind of failed, but I think we should be fine. And GG. Golem first place, so let's actually go Expo up to main. Um, I don't want to play my Ice Wizard right away. I, I like waiting. Let's go Ice Wizard now for his Night Witch. And let's actually go Tesla down low. I think I might just play my Valkyrie on his Night Witch just to clean it up. Ooh. Okay. So I think this is actually a clean defense by on our side. Hopefully we can get the King Tower activated here. And perfect. I think this was a W defense, guys. This was definitely a W defense. We might be low in Elixir, but I think it's worth it.
Might have to log this since his e barbs were raged. Okay, perfect. Not even a single hit. Um, guessing that he's a golem player, he's probably gonna do the same thing with a golem in the back. Typical golem play, so we just have to kind of recoup our elixir. And yeah, I'm probably gonna just Tesla in the middle because I can't really go expo since I'm low on elixir and I don't want to get punished too hard. Uh, let's go Ice Wizard and. I'd say for this matchup, for golem matchups, you want to cycle your Tesla first instead of your Ice Wizard first. I see Best and they do it a lot, and I asked him, and he said it's better to cycle your Tesla first, especially since you can get another one DPS down. And that that was clean, guys. Come on, you might have to replay that one because that was just that was simply clean. Uh, no, I missed the E bar, but that NATO was so good. I'm gonna go expo opposite lane just to kind of get the other tower in case he tries to sack and i think we should easily be able to take that right tower we just need like a log maybe yeah we just need like a log i'm gonna ice wizard on the corner because he might have lightning i think he has lightning i think he played it earlier i'm not sure yeah he does But yeah, save your Ice Wizard for his Night Witch. That's another big tip for this match. Oh. Um, so... I'm not sure what this is. It could be Lava Hound or something. Well, Skarmy Arrows. Either Sparky or... Or Lava Hound. I'm gonna go Expo since he did leak a lot. Of elixir and yeah I might late NATO this especially since he went and snowball okay so this is giant graveyard unfortunately I'm gonna go ice wizard ability for his bat and this should actually be a good counter push let's see if it forces out some elixir from him Okay, so it actually forced out a 3 elixir Skarmy. So that's a really good trade for us. And his giant's out of hand, so I'm probably going to go Expo once I get the elixir. So let's actually go Expo and then Tesla since his giant's out of hand. And he realized that then, but it's kind of too late. Let's see, I'm going to go late log on his night witch in case he wants to scar me okay really really nice connection by us guys i think i think we should get a ton of damage here and wow as long as we defend perfectly i think we should win especially considering the fact that the ice wizard ability does a lot better against giant graveyard than a lot of matchups Let's go Expo again. I know he has Giant in Cycle, but I just kind of don't want him to play his Giant at the bridge. Let's go Valkyrie. And this is a nice juicy, this is nice juicy rocket value, so let's go take it. He has to spend something else for this. And I'm going to go with Tesla, because I don't want to overcommit on offense. When he can just spam me on defense, so let's actually set up with the Tesla. And this should be another nice lock. Again, I'm going to reset and then go Expo again. And we have a Tesla up. And really nice giant by him, but I don't think it's enough. Let's go Valkyrie low for his graveyard. Log, and I'm probably going to go with nice wizard, wizard ability. I don't want to NATO that since we're going to just waste Elixir. So I'm going to go Expo on the right. And he's going to be forced to take care of it. Does that actually connect? Okay, connects. And I think we went right off that. So GG. Okay, so we're up against Big O. 
from AK Syndicate. I know he runs Lava Hound, so I don't want to just cycle log because he can just go Lava in the back and I'd be kind of screwed. So I'm just going to set up with the Valkyrie because he's going to be forced to respond. And let's see what he does to this. Um, I'm going to log to cycle on this tombstone. And I'm going to Ice Wizard. I don't know why he played his Skeleton Dragons like that. I mean, I know it was to take care of the Valkyrie, but he has nothing for this expo here. Especially since he went Lava Hound like that. And this should get a ton of damage, guys. Let's go Valkyrie for his barbs. And I'm not going to play my Tesla just yet. I want to wait till I get some Elixir. And I want to keep my Tesla up for as long as possible. So I don't, want, I don't want to play it right away. Let's go Tesla here. Really nice Mega Minion by him. I'm not going to NATO that because of his Loon. And I'm going to NATO his Loon to King. And probably try to rocket his Mega Minion and his Lava Hound. That, that's a ton of damage. But I think we should be fine here. It's Ice Wizard ability here. And really, really nice defense, guys. I know it almost took my tower, but at least it didn't actually take my tower. So I'm really happy about that. Let's go Expo since he doesn't really have much for this Expo. Except for like Barbs and a Tombstone. He shouldn't even have Loon and Cycle, I don't think. And yeah, just like I... Just as I predicted, let's go Valkyrie for his Mega Minion. And I'm probably just going to log the barbs. Perfect. Um, I don't want a Tesla for his Loon, especially since he has Lava Hound in hand. So I'm just going to NATO this down and use Tesla for his Lava Hound. Hopefully we hit everything with Rocket. Kind of a bad rocket by me, but I'm not sure if we, we would be able to hit all that in the first place. I'm gonna log this. And I don't know if I need to enable this, see? Uh, it's Tesla. It's Ice Wizard ability, I want to keep that alive. Oh, did I have the defensive expo so his Lava Hound doesn't get damaged? And just kind of slow his push down. If anything, I'm, I'm probably just going to try to NATO. And GG. Okay, we're up against a Lumi. Um, let's go Ice Wizard in the back. I didn't want to overspend on that miner. I'm going to go Rocket on his Inferno Dragon, just for damage, just to kind of catch up a bit. And he's going to be forced to respond to this Ice Wizard, so I'm going to Tesla like as soon as the Lumberjack crosses, because I feel like he's going to Balloon. And if I tesla earlier, he wouldn't have went Balloon there. So yeah, and I'm going to try to get a freaking Tower Activation here. And perfect, so I think this should set us up for the rest of the match. This seems like it's going to be an easy matchup, considering the fact that he has Zap. And when they have Zap, they usually don't have a big spell when it comes to Loon decks. Kind of unfortunate that that Miner didn't reset, so let's go Expo here. Especially since this Balloon's out of cycle. Let's get our Tesla ready. Um, so not really much of a connection there. Let's go Valkyrie up high to kite the Inferno Dragon back. So please, please, please pay attention to that interaction because it saved me in so many games and situations. So notice again how I'm not really playing my Tesla right away when he shows me the Lumberjack. Just because they don't always play Balloon. So really bad Tornado by me. I didn't really think I needed it. I mean, I thought I needed it there, but I didn't. And hopefully this resets, and it does. Perfect. I'm gonna go Expo. Log, and then 
three skeletons here. Like I mentioned in my other videos, guys, if you hover your skeletons just like that, you should always have enough time to react to the Inferno Dragon. And this saved me a lot in Lava Hound matchups, but you have to kind of predict that they're going to go Inferno Dragon. Let's go Ice Wizard ability here, and I think this should fully take care of it. And perfect. I'm going to go Expo, especially since he cycled his Inferno Dragon opposite lane. I'm going to go Log, hopefully killing the Skarmy faster. Really bad zap by him, in my opinion. Let's go Tesla here, denying the lane where he wants to go Balloon. Um, I'm going to go Rocket. I don't know why he played it that side, especially since that's his low tower. And really good Balloon by him. Let's go Expo to kite his Balloon over to my Tesla. And all we really need is just like a rocket, I think. Because it does 591 and GG. Um, I'm just going to go log. And if he doesn't really do anything, I'm probably just going to cycle Nexpo just because of his BM earlier. I don't know. It's just something about it. Um, really, really bad reaction time by him. I'm gonna have to go Ice Wizard and then Valkyrie. Uh, okay, so this is a really, really bad matchup for us, guys. This has to probably be one of the worst matchups for Ice Bow in the whole game. I don't want to rocket that just yet because he could play Lava Hound in front and want to get as much value as possible. Probably going to late Tesla. Let's NATO when this pops. So really, really nice defense by us. Go Valkyrie opposite lane. So I'd say a big tip for this matchup is you kind of want to be playing your Valkyries in the back opposite lane to pressure sometimes to kind of force them to split up their their troops so they can't play it all in your expo. I'd say that's probably one of the best tips for this matchup. Go Expo opposite lane, especially since he cycled his um, flying machine. And let's actually go Tesla low. I don't know why this guy's playing in the middle. So this is proof that Lava Hound... I don't know. That you could be a lot bad Lava Hound player and be high up. Because that's just ridiculous. Um, I think all we need here is just like two rockets and we win. Go Expo opposite lane again to kind of split up his troops. I don't want him to stack an all in one lane, so I might have to ignore that flying machine. It's not going to take my tower. Um, let's actually go Ice Wizard. And I'm going to go Expo again. I could just rocket cycle, but I don't know. Let's go rocket NATO. Perfect. I didn't get the connection, but it's okay. Let's go log, and I'm probably just gonna rocket cycle here. I'm gonna go with my first rocket there. And he's giving us the wow like he doesn't hard counter us. Try to cycle back. I'm gonna nato this back to cycle. And then rocket and GG.